what is going on y'all so today we're going to be doing a review on these delicious gummies by a company called happy fruit this particular flavor is the strawberry kiwi craze and it is as you noticed uh it's sativa it's derived from sativa flower um which i really really like and we'll get into that a little bit later but this whole entire container is a thousand milligrams it is ethanol extracted in terms of how they get the THC in here. So they'll get that flour, they'll extract it through way of ethanol, and then they will fuse that extraction into the recipe of the gummy. And there you go, that's how they make that. What I really like about this company too is that they're small batch and handcrafted. So they really, really try to hone in on making sure that every single gummy is as delicious as the one that you just ate. And I think they do a really, really good job on that. Um, they do have two different lines, which is cool. They have a cannabis infused line as well as a rosin infused line. So I'm certain that it'll give you a little bit different effects and feelings. Um, I'm super grateful because I actually received this as a sample from one of my favorite dispensaries locally. Shout out to Ripple. Um, but dude, they really hooked me up. I am so glad that I tried these gummies out because now I got something amazing in my arsenal. Definitely lived up to the hype and they have a fantastic flavor like I keep saying. Um, this company itself is also just known for their gummies. They don't make anything else. They don't make... Um, any other type of edible just straight gummies and they have a whole bunch of different flavors and like i said those two different rosin and flower lines so they just push that really hard and just try to focus on their own lane which i think is really cool uh the flavor like i said is delicious it does have a hint of that hash flavor but i'm not really tripping on it because that delicious flavor just overpowers that tiny bit of hash flavor so it is all good y'all it's also got a hundred milligrams per each piece of candy so i would say be very very careful when you are dosing especially if you have a low tolerance dude literally just take a nibble if you have a higher tolerance take half and see how you feel what i really like about these is because it's sativa it doesn't hit you as hard so if you really need the medicating effects of an edible but you don't want it to hit you mentally as hard I would definitely run with the sativa line for sure um, it took about 30 minutes to hit my system which i was really loving because that's what i really look for in an edible when i'm taking it personally it's for my muscle spasms and if i can find something that hits me quickly that's like i'm super happy i'm all about it all day and it's definitely something i'll add to my arsenal um unfortunately this product is not vegan and it's not gluten free but it's still something that i highly recommend i think it's i just keep talking about the flavor man so dude just check it out just based off of that the texture is great it's not too chewy but it's not hard at all in any way so you know if y'all see this on the shelf go check it out see for yourself i highly recommend this Definitely for the people who are more experienced. If you're a microdoser, probably stay away from it. But uh, yeah, man, check it out for yourself. I'll see y'all.